What's going on all you guys and girls? If you want to see what I think is almost definitely hands down the most powerful move in the game, then stay tuned. That's coming up next. What's going on all you gamers? So, if you've seen any of my content, you'll know that I've been working my way towards trying to find everything in the game, having a little wander, uh, finding all the hidden secrets, uh, everything, and I said I was going to bring you some build guides. So I started a little bit of that, and then I went back and I started some of my earlier gameplays to have a little look at some of that stuff, and basically, then a subscriber actually said to me on one of my videos, um, he mentioned a build that I was going to make and then he basically made me throw it straight in the bin because his one was a lot better so the subscriber was called Kyle Shoals and I hope I haven't butchered that name but basically he told me something that I hadn't actually realized or factored in at all and if I just quickly press the right button that would be a good start but this guy right here kaboom he's on one of my previous saves level 12 and if you have a little look, you have this right here, the Nuka Zuka, which you hold on to until pretty much the end of the game because you don't want to waste any ammo. So if you have a little look here on this save file, I have no idea how much I've got, probably two maybe, give or take. Three. So I've got three on this one. And basically that will pretty much kill anything in one hit except for obviously the uh, scorpionoid or anything like that unless you've got really really good damage and crit and such but there's a few things that i didn't factor in so obviously on this build what you'd want to do is to have the guy with nice coordination because obviously you're going to want a little bit of a chance to move and then use it <clears throat> sorry excuse me but um it does cost seven what i'm about to show you and then i would say chuck on as much awareness as possible because it's damage 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 i think the top one is 35 percent extra damage so you're definitely gonna want that and then you're gonna want intelligence as well because that will give you the crit damage and the chance for the mega crit which is really really good um after that to be perfectly honest you can kind of chuck on whatever you want as such um i would probably recommend as a background exploder maniac just because it will give you extra explosion damage but you wouldn't need it not as far as i can see with this um so basically while while i kind of beating around the bush i'll get to the point and what you're going to be doing is unlocking this one explosives number five which gives you the mortar blast which i thought was good i was going to create a build around it i didn't realize something though or i didn't even think about it until the subscriber said it doesn't cost ammo it's kind of a special move and it doesn't affect your ammo this ability targets an area with your rocket launcher and fires into the air the rocket falls down bombarding the area below for 100 percent damage one turn later but basically, once you've ended all your turn and it's their turn or such, basically it comes down on top of them. And it is huge. It is so, so satisfying to see that happen. Uh, there is a bit of a cooldown, but it's devastating. It is well worth trying. So if you're using this, which, like I said, you kind of completely hold on to because you don't want to waste the ammo, um now you're not it does a ridiculous amount of damage i think on this guy which had pretty much nothing into anything no crit no anything it does 2000 to everything in the area the guy who sent me this was saying that he can get usually i think he said about 12 14 000 to about i think he might have said up to about 28 or 30 with a mega crit there's nothing surviving that. Every single thing in the area is completely dead. This is the most powerful move in the game. Give it a try on one of your characters. I'm going to chuck on a little bit of footage uh, just to show you roughly how to do it. I would recommend if you're doing this to have someone in your team who's got something like um, sentries or some kind of 
I would say decoys, but decoys, decoys aren't really that great in this. I'd say sentry turrets or something that's going to take a bit of the aggro for you so that you can get the move off. And then kind of put your other people into a position of just either standby or just on ambush as such, ready for if people are coming in range. Now obviously you can't do this every single turn, you do have a cooldown, but it's still devastating and can mean the difference between completely eviscerating en enemies in a really high level map or getting completely battered by them. Right, I'm going to chuck on a little bit of gameplay and like I said show you exactly what it's all about. Uh, remember this is really low level stuff and so you will get much much higher once you up your stats but it disintegrates everything. Right guys and girls I hope you've enjoyed that. If you want to watch the footage then that will be coming up next and if you like this video then why not hit that like, hit that subscribe and bell icon and I'll be giving you regular notifications on all of the latest and greatest Xbox content. As always enjoy the video, take care. See you next time.